Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this breakout video here, I'll be showing you how to clean or replace the map or also known as a boost sensor on a BMW M57. This particular car I'm working with here today is a 2010 BMW 335D E90. A similar procedure can also be applied to the BMW X5, 5 Series and 7 Series diesels of the same generation equipped with the M57. A faulty boost sensor will cause your car to go into limp mode under hard acceleration, cause a loss of power, reduce fuel economy, and trigger a check engine light. In order to scan the codes, for this I am using my Foxwell NT530 OBD scanner. A BMW specific scanner is recommended to pull the proper codes. A generic OBD2 reader can possibly send you on a chase trying to sort out those issues. This is a must have for those working on BMWs. A link to this will be included in the video description. The BMW specific code for this, which can be triggered, is 429A. First is opening the hood. In order to gain access to the sensor, the engine cover must be removed. The cowl on the front of the windshield will need to be removed first. Remove a cabin filter cover. This is held on with 6 8mm bolts. Once those bolts have been removed, lift off and place it somewhere safe. Next, we're removing the two outer covers. These are simply snapped into place. Pull the tabs back and lift the covers off. Next, we'll be removing those two 8mm bolts holding on the windshield cowl. If you noticed, I'm using my OEM Tools Collapsible Fastener Container, model number 26052. Comes in a set of four, made of a durable high-strength silica, is able to hold up to two pounds with a magnetic bottom, and has four different colors. A must-have for keeping all those fasteners in one place. A link to this will be included in the video description to Mobile Distributor Supply. The wire goes across the top that needs to be pulled out for the clips. We won't fully remove the cowl, just have it unbolted so we're able to pull it back when putting the engine cover back into place. Using an Allen wrench, remove the five 5mm five socket head bolts. Use a clean rag to wipe around the oil fill cap. Remove the oil fill cap. Then lift the engine cover off and place it somewhere safe. Reinstall the oil cap so nothing falls inside the engine. The boost sensor is on top of the intake towards the back of the cowl on the driver's side. Press the tang and then pull off the plug. Then move the sensor back and forth, gently rocking it out of its grommet. You may or may not need to replace the grommet if it has dried out from the heat. Here's a sensor. I did clean it once when I had the engine disassembled for cleaning the upper intake and replacing the glow plugs. Videos for that will be released in the future. However, there's possibly still some debris lodged inside. You can use a toothpick to clean out the port before washing it out with a solvent. For cleaning the boost sensor, I would recommend a sensor safe cleaner. Have a paper towel handy. This will allow us to see when the debris is falling out of the sensor. Spray the cleaner inside the sensor and then flip it upside down so the solvent drains out. Gently tap the sensor on top of the paper towel to help dislodge any debris inside. The white paper towel also shows if any debris is being removed along with ensuring there is clean solution being washed out when emptying. Once no more debris is coming out, the sensor is then clean and ready to be reinstalled. I let the sensor sit for a few minutes so it can dry. Push the sensor back into place, then snap the electrical connector back into place. Remove the oil cap. Reinstall the engine cover. There are tabs on the back side which needs to lock into the rear cover, so lift the cowl up and make sure everything is aligned correctly. Reinstall that oil fill cap. Reinstall the socket head bolts back into the engine cover. Snap the wiring harness back into place. Finally, it's bolted down the cowl. Make sure to line everything up correctly, then install the two 8mm bolts on the fender sides. Reinstall the cabin filter along with the 8mm bolts. Snap the outer covers back into place. After that is clearing the engine codes, removing that boost sensor fault. 
New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found the story helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.